If we go back to the question w to the 3 is equal to 1, this is in fact a cubic equation. And a cubic equation has three unique solutions. And remember, as I mentioned before, they can be real or they can be complex solutions. But we are looking for three unique ones. Now, we are going to actually start finding all the solutions. In order to do that, you have to realize that your right-hand side is actually or can be written as a complex number because 1 is exactly the same as 1 plus 0i. So we have a complex number with real part equal to 1 and imaginary part equal to 0. And that is a complex number given in Cartesian form. But from the Cartesian form, you can find the angle and you can find the modulus, which in this case gives 1 for the modulus and 0 for the angle. In this particular case, you could follow the same procedure as we did when explaining how to change from the Cartesian to the polar form. Or, if you prefer, in this case, a simple plot will actually give you the modulus and the angle. That's where my complex number is. Therefore, the modulus is the length of the complex number, which is 1. And then the angle, in this case, is 0. So with the modulus and the angle, we can write our number 1 plus 0i in exponential or polar form. And in this video, I'm going to keep with the exponential form because it makes things shorter. So in this case, remember that the exponential form is r by e to the power of theta plus 2 pi k everything by i. Therefore, since r is 1, we have 1 by e to the power of theta, which is 0, plus 2 pi k by i, which is simply e to the power of 2 pi k i. With the right-hand side written in exponential form, our equation w to the 3 equal to 1 turns into w to the 3 is equal to e to the power of 2 pi k i. So now we we'll think about how to get w by itself. If we take the cubic root, we will get w by itself. So we have w is equal to the cubic root of e to the power of 2 pi k i. But remember, any root can be written as a power. Therefore, the cubic root of e to the power of 2 pi k i is the same as e to the power of 2 pi k i, everything to the power of 1 third. And this is the same as w is equal to e to the power of 2 pi k over 3i. Now, since we are looking for three roots, because we had, remember we had w is equal to 1, and I told you we had two more roots that were complex, we can obtain them by varying the value of k. That's why we introduced k. So if we give three values to k starting in 0, so we have 0, 1, and 2, we can find the three solutions, which I'm going to call w0, w1, and w2. That 0, 1, and 2 is the same or corresponds to value of k that we are going to use. So remember, we had w was equal to e to the power of 2 by k over 3i. So now, if k is 0, we have e to the power of 2 pi by 0 over 3i, which is the same as e to the power of 0, which is the same as 1. So that's the solution we found in the previous video when we started the problem. Now, if k is equal to 1, we have e to the power of 2 pi by 1 over 3i, which is the same as e to the power of 2 pi over 3i. And then, if k is equal to 2, we have e to the power of 2 pi by 2 over 3i, which is the same as e to the power of 4 pi over 3i. If you look at the three solutions, they are all complex numbers that have modulus equal to 1. But then, they have different angles. Look at this one here. You probably see this better with the exponential. This has angle equal to 0. This one has 
angle equal to 2 pi over 3 and this one has angle equal to 4 pi over 3. So if you wanted to plot them, remember we need to do as we need to plot a circumference with radius equal to 1 and now we need to place the three angles. Angle 0 is easy because it will be placed here. So here is W0. And now in order to place the other two, you just have to realize they are all talking about multiples of pi over 3. So if we divide each half of the circle in three equal sections, we have this. Therefore, this is pi over 3, this would be 2 pi over 3, and therefore to place the second number, w1, we just need to place the angle 2 pi over 3, so w1 would be here. And then 4 pi over 3 would be 1 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3. Therefore, here you have w2. In the general case, if you consider an equation like this, w to the n is equal to z, where z can be a complex number or can be a real number, we can solve the equation by first rewriting z in polar or exponential form. And here you have to remember about this 2 by k. Now to get w by itself, we take the nth root, in this case, in both sides. And as we know how to turn a root into a power, we could write wk is equal to everything to the power of 1 over n. This would be the same as r to the power of 1 over n, and then the whole exponential to the power of 1 over n. This is just a power that you could actually write as a root again. And then in the second case, remember, you just need to multiply the exponents. So that will give us the general formula to find the n roots of a complex number, which is r to the power of 1 over n by e to the power of theta plus 2 pi k over n i. And remember that in our previous case, our k was 0, 1, and 2, and we were looking for three roots. So you always vary k until n minus 1, where n is the number of roots you're looking for.